Uh, Justin and Brad here again. Just going to go over one thing that I've seen playing with the Baron Bolo as far as taking the back. I watch a lot of video on the move, of course, because trying to compete all the time, everybody's doing it. And I have a, a leg position I like to use to take the back. I think I've seen it before, but I'm not 100% sure, but I thought I would share it just, just in case I haven't seen it anywhere. But it's for smaller guys trying to get a bigger guy to move to take the back. And it's just a leg positioning for it. Because sometimes I'm, it's hard for me to reach across and reach underneath his leg and get him to pull him over top, especially if he's bigger than me. And I'm kind of weak. So even lifting weights hasn't really helped me with that. So we're here, and we're just going to go from like a double guard pull because all this stuff is not important because I'm not showing the sweep as I am just in the motion that I want to do. So I'm here, I go, I roll up underneath, I get the belt, and I get the ears. And I'll show a different angle for this. For me, sometimes it's hard to take my arm through here to get there because I'm, my arms are too short or the guy's too big. So what I like to do is I'm going to come this, lift the leg, and then I'm going to hook my hook. Almost like I'm axing my hook right inside of his knee here. So I'm here. And now I'm keeping this grip on his hip, and now I'm going to take this leg out of the way, and this leg out of the way. See what happens is now it keeps my hook inside of him here, so my hook's already established deep. It's hard for him now to run away from me because I have this hook here. Now this hand can slowly start to grab up in here or behind the neck, and now I'm going to take this top foot off, and I can start dragging him back to the top, and my hook's already here, so it's harder for him to kind of move away because now I can go and play here, which makes it harder for him to turn away until I can establish my hook. So he'll stay the same way, but I'll go to the opposite side so you can kind of see here. So I'm gripping the, the ankle, just using the traditional coming up to here. Sometimes it's hard for me to get around, but usually this leg is somewhere in here. I'm going to just lift it at the ankle and put my foot right here. So I'm axing my feet. I still have the belt grip. And now I'm going to turn my feet down as I start turning him away. See how he rolls up? I switch my grip to this belt, and now I'll come to the back. And now if I straighten my legs down and I kick him towards that punching bag there and I pull, it'll slide Justin down to me and I can ride my hook right up into it. So one more time. We're here. I still got to ride up his body here and get my foot across his shit or his belly here, hooking. Now from here, I grip, lift, hook. I'm still holding the belt. This hand's now going to kind of move out of the way, and my hooks are going to start turning him over here. Once I get him to here, I control, reach up, and now I shoot my legs. My hook is still hooking his top leg. Now I'm going to just like I'm shucking, like I'm bullfighting, I'm going to pull this down as I straighten my legs, it brings it back to me, and then I can ride across. Just do it one more time. Here. 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 In the back. That was just a, a little bit of a leg variation that I've been playing with, being smaller, not very strong, so trying to do stuff. Um, it was just something that's really helped me for taking the back off the better mobile. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Justin, Brad, TCAMMA.com, check us out.